direct from Foxborough, Massachusetts, the gem of Norfolk County, and taped at the studios of Foxborough Cable Access. It's Foxborough Central, and here's your host, Bob Hickey. Welcome to another fantastic episode of Foxborough Central. I am Bob Hickey, your host, and I'm so pleased that you took a little bit of time to join me and my guests as we talk about the people, events, and organizations that make Foxborough the gem of Norfolk County. And when we're talking about Foxborough, we have certain things we always identify. We have the beautiful Memorial Hall, we have our gorgeous town common, and we have Founders Day. And I'm so pleased to be joined once again by my friends, Cindy Hadda Drew and Steve Drew, who are the co-chairs, co-chairs, or you're the chairman and he's along for the ride. Yep. <laughs> of Foxborough <laughs> Founders Day 2014. Can't believe it's already Founders Day and it's already 2014, or put it the other direction, I still can't believe it's 2014, and really that it's Founders Day coming up already. It's yeah. Sneaking up fast, it's been sneaking a quick year. Fast. Well, has. for the viewers at home, what lies in store? First of all, what day is Founders Day this year? Saturday, June 7th, it's the first Saturday of June. The first Saturday of June. People need to yeah. remember that because it, it goes closest to June 10th, which June 10th. is the founding of Foxborough. And that is why it is not always the second Saturday of June, which people tend to forget sometimes. Correct. And it's important to remember that. Right. It's always a make, make sure we get it into the school schedule so the <laughs> conflicts don't occur every year. So Very good. So June 7th. Yes. 2014, Correct. starting at the parade. Well, the parade is at 10 kicks off at 10 a.m. Right. and then that's uh, a good hour or so, and then followed by field activities that go from 11 until anywhere from 4 to 5 in the afternoon, mm -hmm. with you know entertainment, and then we have our fireworks starting at 9. And the fireworks are always a. Uh, I, I don't know whether it's because it's not on July 4th in that way that your pyrotechnic company can, can really give it their all, but they do such a great job every year. And they I do. still say that the best fireworks anywhere ever are in Foxborough. Oh, I agree. I agree. Yeah, Atlas does a great job for us. Atlas does it, okay. Yeah. So, and I've, I've spoken to my bird and it says the weather is gonna be fantastic. Thank you. All right. bird, thank you. Need all so the help we can get, word, yeah. My mouth to your ear and everybody <laughs> at home. So, uh, the let, let's talk a little bit about Themes. This year's theme is? Foxborough Sports and Athletics. Foxborough Sports and Athletics. Mm -hmm. So every year we're driven to find a Do theme. Do we have any sports in Foxborough? Uh, you know, I heard there's one team. One would think, yeah. <laughs> one team. <laughs> yeah. Well, so, I'm a big fan of Foxborough baseball also. So. Are you? Yes. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, so we have recognized so many other activities and organizations in town that we thought that it is such a sports driven team mm -hmm. that we would recognize our teams and our other organizations that are related to sports. Well, we have a strong youth sports culture here in right, town right. And, and in addition to our high school and junior high, well, middle school, sorry, uh, sports programs. Um, and, and anybody going up to the school can see the banners and with the renovation of the school, the gymnasium just looks phenomenal. And so there's a lot of opportunity. Plus town meeting just a couple ticks ago, uh, approved the installation of the turf field. It's already up there being used. It looks right. great. And then the new baseball field and softball fields are in construction around the backside. Uh, and there's even an Eagle Scout project going on to beautify and, and make it more, uh, I won't say environmentally friendly, but more, uh, uh, friendly to the birds and the bats and, yeah, awesome. and, yeah. and non-sports uh, or non-humanoids uh, yeah. and, and so that's a, a great thing plus our recreation department and all the youth fields and, and the programs but we also have the Patriots are they part of this whole uh, thing or is this all about Foxborough it's mostly about Foxborough is you know we love to encourage the teams that are in Foxborough mm -hmm. to participate in this as much as they can. So we should be seeing a lot of youth sports out there, a lot of youth programs. That's our target with us, absolutely. Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. So, the parade, the parade, which is one of my favorite parades because it's it's got all the key essential elements. It has exactly. fire engines, it has noise, it has what? Well, uh, this year our Grand Marshal is Gene Conley. Okay. So yeah, I don't know how much you know about him, but he was um, 
played on three Boston sports teams. He was in the, the Boston Braves, Okay. then the Boston Red Sox, and... For those of you under a certain age, the Braves did not always stay in Atlanta. Let me just talk about that. <laughs> and then the Boston Celtics. Okay. He played on both? Yes. Baseball and basketball. Yes. Right, right. Yes, so you'll get to, to meet with him and and see him. Uh, hopefully he'll be able to fit in the uh, convertible that we have <laughs> for him. He's quite tall. But yeah, well, I don't know so about, really the, the about that. I, I bet if you're in a convertible, the tallness <laughs> yeah. of them, I, I think it's more than the, the knee legs. room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, that's great. And then, yeah, we have our fire engines. You know, the fire department is really great. They reach out to all the towns and get the fire engines to come to our parade. So there's always super representation of the surrounding towns. It's really, a, yeah, it's really a blessing because it's one of those things that you you don't know about, and it goes on behind the scenes, and then all of a sudden it's there, and it's like well, really amazing. Well, the key to any successful <clears throat> volunteer operation is, or any successful operation period, you're both in business, is to surround yourself with good people, mm -hmm. let them do their thing, right. and then reap the rewards, right? Absolutely. We've been very fortunate in that, that arena. We've got a wonderful group that comes out for us every single Founders Day, the Friday before to do our setup, the Sunday after to do our cleanup. Um, <laughs> You could always use more, but we've got certainly a, a wonderful staff well, that let's, we want to say thank you to. I was going to say, let's talk about that. Who are some of the key players this year? Because I look up on the website every year, and you do have a great website, and that address is? www.foxboroughfoundersday.com, and that's with the U-G-H. <clears throat> Spelled the correct way. Correct. Yes. Foxboroughfoundersday.com. Mm -hmm. So who are some of the key players this year? I, I, as I was just getting ready to say, I see the picture because you always take a snapshot every year, and, and, right. and the faces change, but they're all still neighbors and friends and people who step up, do their community piece. So who's the key, who are the key people this year? Who's in charge of the parade? Who's in charge of the field? Well, I've got the field. Steve Drew, I get the field. My name's all over the forms. I'm the guy you'll be sending them to uh, or calling on the other end of the phone. Is there still time to get in there or is it there are is. We all packed in? No, no, we've still got a few spaces left and okay. we've got until uh, the 15th still of May for a discount of $10 for all the nonprofits. Um, all right, and if you're seeing this afterwards, still the way to get in touch with Steve Drew is to go to the website or can right. they contact you directly? Yes, they can. And how do they do that? 508 508-942-0302. 0302. And that's on the forms as well. So if they download the forms, all, all the contact information is there as and well. And you need to download the form anyway in order to get it in. Correct. So if your organization is still, a nonprofit organization is uh, still thinking, hey, we should do something, right. this would be the thing to do. Right. And with that, uh, who is in charge of the parade this year? Monica Fizzler. Monica Fizzler, a wonderful person. Uh, mm -hmm. a good community soul, uh, along with her husband Dave, uh, mm -hmm. longtime members of the Foxborough JCs. She's been on the advisory committee. Yep. Good people. Yeah. Yes, they so are. we're in good hands. Yeah. Very good hands. So if anybody wanted to get into the parade, if they wanted their nonprofit organization mm -hmm. to be in the parade. Or for profit in the parade. Or for profit. Yes, yeah. oh, okay. They should contact Monica. Exactly. And again, we've got the forms up on the website and all the contact information is there for her as well. At foxworthfoundersday.com. Right. Right. Fantastic. As a backup, um, what I find is there's some people that do not have internet access or are not internet savvy. So they can come to my store, Cindy's Jewelry, right here on Central Street, mm -hmm. and I will supply them with the forms. They can fill them out and hand them right back to me. For those of you who, um, don't know Cindy, she has been part of this, we'll call it, we'll call it the Founders Day, just the Founders Day celebration. You've been on here for how many years now? You've been doing this for so long. On this? You've really been giving of your time and soul and spirit. And about 10 years. 10 years. Yeah. And you've been the chair of the last few. And mm -hmm. uh, whenever I have a question, I do just go into your shop and you're always there and you always have the information or you can always point me to whoever needs right. to. So. Uh, Foxborough Founders Day is truly a Foxborough celebration. It's all about Foxborough, and it's about Foxborough people. And so uh, if you want to participate and if your organization wants to be a part of it, there's no reason why you should ever say, I don't know how to do that. It's easy. Just mm -hmm. pop on down to City Jewelers, check it out on the website. Ask any one of the other volunteers because there's a ton of folks who get involved. I mean, you see a lot of the same people every year. Our own Neil Kaiser is always out there helping out. Yep. Uh, uh, Peter Sandler and so many people who do so many other things in the community. So uh, 
you know, there's that whole joke about six degrees of separation. Well, in Foxborough, you're only two steps away from anybody who's <laughs> intimately involved with the Founders Day uh, celebration. So Founders Day is not a government-sponsored activity. No, it, it is, is not. It is a nonprofit. Mm -hmm. You are a nonprofit. Correct. And you generate your money not by taxation, not but all. by donations. Exactly. And so if uh, I were to be driving through the center of town and I were to see somebody holding one of the big rockets, that would be a great time to donate, right? That's, uh, yeah, work. May 24th, Saturday, you know, Memorial Day weekend, and we get out it's from 7 until 1 uh, looking for our donations. That's our biggest donation drive. Mm -hmm. So we need as much as we can get this year. It's been kind of light. Well, it's been a, it's been a cold winter, and I, I, we're just commenting <clears throat> for those of you who are at home or who always enjoy watching me. Or well, maybe you don't. <laughs> <laughs> but... Uh, you know, I don't do a lot of pre-interviews, so when folks come in, I'll chat for two minutes and say, hey, so, you know, what's on the list for today? And of course, there's no list because Cindy and Steve know everything that's going on. They don't need a list. I don't need no stink on list. But <laughs> I mentioned that I mentioned I can't believe Founders Day is coming up already because of the long extended winter that we had. And I suppose that has also negatively affected your fundraising ability. Because mm -hmm. I know that we get into the cycle of life and we, you know, we, we do what we do when we do it and every year we kind of get into routine. Right. Routine seems to be tossed aside a little bit this year. Yeah, it has. For the flowers, the birds, and Founders Day. Yeah. <laughs> well, we send, you know, we, we typically send out letters to all the businesses in town mm -hmm. and, you know, we've done that, but they're slow to come back. Um, and you know donations are slow to come in and people are slow to get their applications in for the field and the parade so we're finding everything is kind of slow but you know we're less than four weeks away I know, I know. and i suppose the message now is to everybody get a move on it come on folks get your donations in if you're looking to donate individually there's always a bucket open i think at your store as well but in various places around town, you'll see the, the buckets for the fireworks fund. Right. That all goes towards the Founders Day, and it's not a uh, huge organization. It's not a professional solicitation firm that's scraping 82% off and is located in Bangladesh. Right. It's just all about Foxborough being for Foxborough. So this is our celebration. So money donated goes back to us. 100% back to the day and, and ultimately right for all those nonprofits that get to enjoy a space in the day, the fun, the festivities, and the fundraising that they do, to your point, to help those in the community around us. That was what the whole idea of this was created for 26 years ago now, and uh, it still goes on today. It's just amazing. So. It's been going on for 26 years because right. it started off as a great idea and it's, it's grown and it's, it's morphed into something that really we can identify with. Right. Plus, uh, uh, what a unique uh, celebration that it's not on the July 4th and yet it has such the, the, the fireworks and the whole getting together in the field and the whole community comes together. Uh, it's really become a whole program that people set their calendar on, which is why people should remember again this year it's on June, June. 7th, mm -hmm. the first Saturday of June. Right. Exactly. We're not going to forget that, are we, folks? No. <laughs> <laughs> So what's going on this year on the field? What are some of the, I, and again, it's uh, sports, uh, celebrating our sports teams. And we have Gene Connolly as the Grand Marshal, which is fantastic. So what's going on on the field this year that would make me say, hey, I need to go to my ATM machine, bring out $3,000. There you go. And go down to the field and spin, spin, spin. We're gonna have a lot of the um, same venues down there this year that have been there before. Um, we're not going to let the cat out of the bag on everything. There's got to be a few surprises. Um, we've got um, a great day planned. We but for really the kids, don't. there's bouncy houses. Oh, oh yeah, we've got all that commitment. Plenty of food. We'll have music. We're going to have uh, the fire department down there doing some of their things as well. Um, and uh, there's always some surprises. Some well, even to me in the end of the, well, the, end of know, the day, you know? I, I am so. uh, sad. Nobody's asked me to sit on a dunk tank yet. So, oh, that uh, might It happen. may not be too late, Bob. Well, I don't, well nobody's... I, I, who, and who am I anyway, right? But, I'll uh, make sure that your name gets put in. Well, the important thing is that you have to come by so I can... Heckle. Heckle, yes. <laughs> that's, that's, that's You're so good at I was, doing. I was looking at the word, and, and the heckle is a perfect word. But uh, no, it, a lot of the... Of the um, Nonprofit organizations here in Foxborough depend upon the Founders Day um, venue 
to, to generate publicity, to generate uh, operating funds, and to generate a way to publicize for volunteers, for their own volunteers. So it is, right. mm -hmm. it is such a, uh, I don't want to sound too whatever, but it's such a synergistic day in which every piece of our community sort of interlocks on that one day. And the whole, I mean, the whole spirit of Foxborough can really be seen on that field. So. And I don't know how many people ever actually say thank you, but I say thank you for doing this every year and, and particularly for uh, all the time and work and <laughs> unpaid hours and hassles that go into it, particularly when it rains on the day, <laughs> you know, through the entire operation oh, yeah, up to the yeah. high school. That was, that was Yeah, that was that an was, interesting was, year great. last year. That was great. You know, part of the great part of you talk about the surprises of the day that I have a general idea as I'm putting the field together what a lot of these folks are going to bring in, but whether it be food or whatever, but just general. We never really know until the day when they all get here. Everybody has their own little mm -hmm. space to take care of, and their own little. It's a great idea, and it's awesome, you know. And the best part of it, like you said, it's all going back into the community. You know, all the all the uh, nonprofits that show up for the day, they're all there about raising money for mm -hmm. the community. So it makes it a special day. You don't see this in most of our neighboring towns. You see, you know, for-profit businesses coming in and running a day for the town. So that's an important piece of it. Is that. Not only is Founders Day about us and for us, but it is protected in that the nonprofits are the ones who are really making the money out there. And that's why we, as uh, people who are looking for a fun day, it is so, in my opinion, better than most other celebrations. Because other celebrations, you'll see the vendors coming in from out of town. They set up their card. They've got a Rhode Island tag on, on the back of the trailer. Correct. And, you know, and, and they're working hard. And they're doing the right thing for them. But this is a day for us. Right. We, we uh, right from the get-go, as soon as the registration forms start coming in, if it's not somebody that we're familiar with, we'll go on, we'll Google them, find out for certain, make the phone calls, swap the emails, and make sure that we don't have anybody flying in under the radar who is a for-profit. Mm -hmm. This is all about the nonprofits, and we're very diligent about that. Uh, in the day, if we do see vendors that are non uh, are for-profit, pardon me, that are going to be encroaching upon the return of the nonprofits, mm -hmm. which is what the day was created for. We make sure that we move them down the road and make sure that all the nonprofits that are participating get the protection and the you know the, the resources out of the day that they deserve. Yeah, and it's so important also because much of the money raised, and I'll I'll speak from experience as Foxborough JC, uh, having done many glow stick sales, which is go. the uh, which goes hand in hand with the joy of the whole fireworks celebration. This is the, all the kids out there with the glow sticks and setting up blankets and spending time with friends and family, um, either at the high school field or down at the booth playground, uh, which are the best viewing spots. Um, <laughs> although there have been some years where I can't quite make it down and I'll sit in front of the Doolittle home, which is also a great viewing spot. There you go. I missed out on buying the glow sticks that year, so we don't talk about that. Yeah. But um, You know there's going to be an influx of people going to the Doolittle home <laughs> no, yeah, this yeah. year to watch the fireworks. Hope they all enjoy the nice company. <laughs> well, they won't be able to see it around the new library, so you got to go down Good to the point. field. Good point. you got to go down to the field. One thing I, I can say, though, about that donation portion of Founders Day is that if you look at you're not buying a hamburger for a dollar or you're not buying a glow stick for a dollar. You're making a donation to the JCs or the Rotary Club right. or the Garden Club. You know, so if it's three dollars for a strawberry shortcake, give them five. Yep. It, it's their, it, this is their biggest donation drive of the year too. For a while. This is where they're making the money that they need to fund all of their activities for the entire year. And this is the one thing that they do that brings it in. So they're depending on Founders Day and they're depending on the donations that people make. And then, and that is not only an excellent point, but we'll even take it a step further. A number of those organizations, JC's included, will then turn around and make a significant piece of that back to the Founders Day, mm -hmm. whatever, you know, the glow sticks goes directly towards the fireworks uh, um, uh, fund for the following year. So it's, it's not as if money is going out of town, your money is staying in town, right. no matter what it is, whether right. it's for operating budgets for the nonprofits, whether it's for the Founders Day directly. Uh, so, Which helps themselves in the rest right. of their partner so it, nonprofits, absolutely. It's, it's just absolutely. a good way to spend the day. Fox, Foxborough Founders Day at right. foxboroughfoundersday.com, spelled the correct way. Uh, you can see on the shirts of Steve and Cindy, uh, Drew, who are here as my guests, and Chairman, and. Uh, Chairman in Chief of uh, Founders Day, uh, 2014. So, with the uh, the day coming up, yes, what are some needs that still are out there? I know that donations are always a need. 
but you also need volunteers. We, we always need volunteers. We because it's a volunteer-driven organization. Correct. Foxborough Founders Day is all volunteer-led. Yeah, right. we find that we go to our meetings. We have one monthly meeting throughout the year, and then in May we're meeting every Tuesday through Founders Day, and we're looking at the same ten faces mm -hmm. at each of these meetings, and it's great. Ten great faces, absolutely. It's great. We're a great group of people. Uh, we would love to see some new faces, especially for ideas. Right. Um, bring some new thoughts into the organization. The strength organization. of any organization is to bring in fresh ideas, fresh people, fresh energy, and so that's exactly why we always recruit. Mm -hmm. And, you know, as a set of helping hands, you know, we're getting older too and... No, we aren't. Tired. Oh, oh we're not getting older um, and we're not getting tired. And <laughs> we're not allowed. And, and our time yeah. is not flying yeah, by. Yeah, that's it for the show. That, you know, thank you very much for joining me on Fox Weather. I'm not, no, I'm just kidding. And, uh, you know, the people that are enjoying Founders Day, you know, it would be great to see some new people coming in and saying, hey, you know, I really love the day. I'd, just like we did when we started 10 years ago. We love Founders Day so much that we wanted to be part of the got organization. Involved. And we'd love to have more people come and do that with us. So when you got involved, mm -hmm. the power couple of Foxborough has not always been head of Founders Day. How no. did you first get involved? There were some great people that obviously started this 26 years ago, and the torch has been passed and a few times. they put their arm around you and said, hey, yeah, well, there was you some of that like too, right, extra right. Time. A little oh, bit come on, we don't want to scare people on. for putting yeah. our arms around them on the that's sidewalk right. now, Bob. Uh, I'm, <laughs> yeah, it's been just, great. It is who we are. So. No, it, that's true. It, it's been great. <laughs> the best um, way, that, in fact, that's how I got involved with the JCs. We, my wife and I showed up at a concert on the Common back in 1993, and I remember like it was yesterday, and two girls said, hey, I don't know you. Oh, I'm, I'm Bob Hickey. I just moved to town. I have Kathy. And they put their arms around. I said, well, have we got some... Hi, how are you doing? And you started introducing us, and that's how we got involved with the JCs. No looking back. And so we all got involved. Somebody reached out and touched well, somebody to get us involved. When I first um, opened my business here in town, um, Carl came in looking for donations. Carl Cush? Yep. And he was very persistent. Um, you know, good Carl. He would just repeatedly visit me until I wrote him the check. <laughs> but <laughs> so he was very good at that. And uh, he, you know, his face was present and it was always around. And so I would, you know, make my donation. And then you know, as a few years went down, my kids got a little bit older. It's like I really wanted to get involved. I was in you know the parade for a couple of different organizations that mm -hmm. I belong to. And then. I was like, you know, I really just want to get involved in Founders Day itself, not, you know, be in the parade or sure. be, you know, doing an activity on the field, but be part of Founders Day. And so uh, we live uptown, and it was in within walking distance. And you know, uh, Mark Emery at the time was the chairman, and he says, you know, just come up at Set Memorial Hall and come on in and, and check it out. So we sat in the background and said, you know, we actually kind of like this like the organization, like the people and everything else. But, um, you know, now we've moved out of Memorial Hall. We're down at the, um, Church of Emmanuel down here on Central Street, and we meet every Tuesday night okay. at 7 p.m. At and the Church of the, Emmanuel, 7 p.m. Tuesday night. Mm -hmm. Show up. Show up and just, you know, bring some ideas. They're all friendly people. Yeah. Right, right. You know, um, we, we have little to no options to choose from for themes and we're bringing you know but there's so many options to choose from but you know our ideas get stale or or, or exhausted after a while well, and then that may be but i gotta tell you every year founders day whatever the theme is is always something that we can rally around and understand and appreciate because mm -hmm. there is that foxborough connection that foxborough flair so New ideas are great, but uh, I don't know how you come up with themes, but it always seems to work. Oh, so it's that dawning moment. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's the way everything happens, and no matter where we're at, it, it's exactly. always that dawning moment. So this year's dawning moment is sports. Foxborough sports. Foxborough sports. Yeah. Right. Go Warriors. Exactly. Go Warriors. Go all sports teams here in town. And there's so many, and so there's expected to be a huge turnout, hopefully from the sports groups. Mm -hmm. uh, and that'll be good because all the kids will hopefully come out with parents and will hopefully come out with a little bit of dinero to enjoy the day. <laughs> exactly. Right. Fantastic. And that is on, again, June 7th, starting the parades at 10 a.m. 
everybody should go down to the parade. Nobody should stay in the house. Nobody <laughs> should not come out to see the parade. But if for some reason you are unable to make it to the center of town and, and line the parade route on Central Street, which then goes down uh, Mechanic for a little bit, then up railroad, then comes back down Bird and goes around the Common and then shoots down South. Um, I know that route. Yeah. Yes, you yes. do. Uh, but if for some reason you can't, you can also watch live TV coverage here on Foxborough Cable Access. I, along with Rick Plasmati, will be your hosts as we uh, narrate and enjoy the parade together. So if you cannot make it down to see the parade, which you really should do, uh, I would love to have you join me, Rick, either streaming online at fcatv.org or on your favorite cable channel. So that's my shameless plug because we're all volunteers also and we'd love to have you join us. Mm -hmm. But for everybody who is going to make it to the parade. Yep. Well, you know, one thing I want to reiterate about what you're saying is if they can't see it, they can come see you on Fox Pro Cable Access. They can also find updates on the cable channel. They can also find updates on our website. So if, like last year, we had to move the parade up an hour it because of the weather. Bit, you know what? I remember not only that, but all of the work that you had social media, tweets going out, there was, there was the, the reverse 911, did we do that also? Yes. Yes. Uh, just so many ways to tell people what was going on because again, it is a, a real community event and so it's it was as if we're all talking to each other mm -hmm. right because we're all bringing the stuff and, and who am I right but I'm coming up and I'm bringing stuff up to the high school and we got everything set up and the school department open up their arms and let you move everything up there so school department public service I mean a lot of the, the police and fire that are, highway are, are really doing details that beyond. day that's all volunteer time for them I want to stress that absolutely um, there's, there's just so many aspects of the day and you just it's impossible to hit everyone on the head about who's going to be there and what they're they're taking. Assume anybody who's involved in the day is volunteering. I mean, that's that's really important, whether they be in a uniform or or a yellow shirt like ours. Well. And there's a lot of people too. Like if you're talking about you know the fire and rescue, or the police department, and other volunteers and people that are putting their floats together. People don't sleep the night before. They're up. They're up all night. They're you know roasting, they're getting, their, getting you know, their floats together, they're doing all kinds of things and these people are just putting on that smiley face the next day because they're still so excited even though they didn't get any sleep. It is an exciting day, that's a great word for it too. It's just an exciting day, it's yeah. fun and it's, it's a feel good day. And it's fun to watch it build, so as it's building over this next month, you know, hopefully the revenues will and we'll, uh, we'll all uh, be able to enjoy the day that we anticipate. I'm going to give you the last word, but as we get ready for Founders Day, you should be a part of it. Either sign yourself and your nonprofit organization up by going to foxboroughfoundersday.com, spelled the correct way, with the UG, uh, or you can stop by Cindy's Journal to get so much more information. Definitely give a donation and definitely plan on coming out on Saturday, June 7th. The parade starts at 10 o'clock. Get your seat early, come out a little bit earlier, and spend the day in town. If you're thinking that the weather's going to be great, you're thinking right, because it is. I know it. I feel it right here. This is your weather report. Forget, forget Channel 25 News. I've got you covered on that. <laughs> Folks, anything last? Let you take it. Well, Founders Day has just been an amazing organization and an amazing day. What I'd like to say is just come out and participate. Be part of it. Be part of Foxborough. It's what we're all about. And it's a nice, nice, tight-knit community. And we have a great time. Amen. There you go. So I cannot say anything else beyond that other than have a great day. And I'll see you somewhere in Foxborough on June 7th. Take care, Foxborough.